great interesting developments over the last uh, 10 or 15 years has been a deepened understanding of how surgery works to improve obesity. We know that obesity at the end of the day is a pathophysiological disorder. It can be caused by genetics, it can be caused by behavior, it can be caused by lots of environmental factors. But all of those causes in the final analysis work through changing the physiology. But we also know from work done over the past uh, 20 years is that the GI tract has a critically important role in regulating all of met metabolic function, including glucose metabolism and other carbohydrate metabolism, lipid metabolism, body fat metabolism, body weight. And so what surgery does is it basically changes that metabolic disarrangement which occurs with obesity and brings it back toward normal. It changes energy expenditure, it changes appetite, it changes a whole variety of types of communication between the gut and the brain, the gut and the pancreas, the gut and the liver, really the gut and everywhere else in the body to bring metabolism back toward normal. I'm very much looking forward to the WCIDT as an opportunity for people from multiple disciplines who gather together to discuss this important issue of the role of the GI tract in metabolic function and how to harness that role to improve therapy for diabetes, obesity, and other metabolic diseases. The meeting in New York will be one that will advance the field in new and important ways. I look forward to being there. I look forward to seeing you there.